다음은 안보정책 센터 회장 프레드 플레이츠 플레이츠 회장님을 모시겠습니다. 플레이츠 회장님은 2018년 대통령 보좌관 역임하셨고 국가안전보장회의 NSC 비서실장을 역임한 고위 관료입니다. 과거에는 중앙정보국 CIA와 국방정보국 DIA 또 국무부 또 하원 정보위원회 등에서 국가 안보와 관련된 중요한 직책을 맡은 바 있습니다. 오늘은 그만의 지혜와 시각으로 사이로 총선을 분석하고 우리가 어떤 일을 해야 하는지 그 과제들을 제시해 주시겠습니다. 워싱턴에 계시는 프레드 플레이츠 플레이츠 전 국가 안보 보장회의 사무총장께 마이크를 넘깁니다. 네, 박수를 쳐 주실까요? Thank you for inviting me to participate in this important conference on the most important element of democratic government, free and fair elections. This conference is being held in response to serious concerns about electoral fraud in South Korea's April 2020 national elections. These concerns mirror what we have been seeing in the United States on how fragile the democratic system of government is to manipulation. The determination by authoritarian powers to meddle in democracies and the refusal of the mainstream media and liberal politicians and experts to acknowledge election fraud, regardless of how clear and obvious the evidence may be. Democracy survives and thrives when men and women of goodwill believe in it and are prepared to defend it. Democracy is vulnerable to manipulation because it puts trust in the people These systems are so easy to manipulate and cheat because they lack the coercion and control that you see in authoritarian governments. This means unscrupulous and selfish people who put themselves and their personal agendas ahead of the nation can all too easily manipulate elections and undermine democracy. In addition, democratic states are vulnerable to manipulation by hostile authoritarian governments. who will not hesitate to exploit the openness and freedom of these states to undermine that and to promote their, their own agendas. There's no question that a wide range of authoritarian states are actively working to undermine democracies around the world. This includes Russia, China, Iran, and North Korea. It's also very likely that Cuba has meddled or will try to meddle in America's democratic system. These nations devote substantial resources, including intelligence operations, propaganda, social media, to meddle in the elections of democratic states, sometimes to promote their favorite candidates in elections. Russia and China have been at the forefront of covert actions, uh, efforts to undermine democratic states because they would like to replace the current world order with one that they would like to dominate. As you know, allegations of Foreign election meddling have plagued the United States since 2016. Claims appeared by mid-2016 that Russia was interfering in the U.S. presidential election, supposedly to ensure the election of Donald Trump. President Trump's political opponents have constantly used these allegations to undermine his presidency. Most experts believe that Russia did have a campaign to meddle in the 2016 presidential election. Although the mainstream media and most Democratic officials agree with the U.S. intelligence community that this interference was intended to help Trump, there is a growing body of evidence that the Russians probably meddled in the U.S. 2016 election to cause confusion and to undermine America's democratic system. There also is compelling evidence discovered by the House Intelligence Committee that the Russians actually may have meddled in the 2016 election to help Hillary Clinton win. This story is complicated. because of efforts by the Obama administration to use U.S. intelligence agencies, the FBI, the Justice Department against the Trump campaign for alleged collaboration with Russia and to actually task career government officers to continue to investigate these false allegations 
after President Obama left office. Ongoing investigations of this abuse by government agencies to investigate the Trump campaign and the Trump administration still could eventually shed more light on the actual nature of Russian interference in the U.S. 2016 presidential election. While most observers rarely, what most observers rarely mention is that attempts to interfere in the U.S. 2016 election by Russia, China, and probably other states was expected by U.S. intelligence analysts because they knew such interference has happened for decades. However, the 2016 Russian interference in the U.S. election differed from past interference because of new capabilities to influence voters and affect election integrity through electronic means, the Internet, and social media. Authoritarian powers can now have a huge effect in manipulating elections in democratic states from abroad and anonymously by sabotaging equipment and software and by using social media. We must recognize that the manipulation of these new technologies represent serious new threats to democracies around the world. Although much has been written about Russian efforts to meddle in the 2016 U.S. presidential, presidential election, Little has been said about Chinese efforts. President Trump warned before the 2018 midterm U.S. elections that China was among several states planning to interfere in this election. President Trump and other U.S. officials never explained this claim. U.S. intelligence agencies recently determined that Russia, China, and Iran hope to influence the outcome of the 2020 U.S. presidential election, with China and Iran wanting Biden to win and Russia favoring Trump. Democratic Congress and briefed on this intelligence are claiming that China and Iran only express a preference for Biden and do not plan to do much to help him win while Russia is engaged in an active campaign to help reelect Trump. I will tell you, as a former CIA intelligence analyst, I question these conclusions. First, I believe it is all but certain that all of America's enemies and adversaries, including Russia, China, Iran, and North Korea, desperately want to see Donald Trump lose the 2020 presidential election. But more important, this touches directly on the interference in the April 2020 South Korean election. China has almost certainly launched a global campaign to affect the outcome of the U.S. presidential election to ensure, and to ensure the election of Joe Biden. But further complicating this situation is how the American left is increasingly putting the pursuit of power ahead of democratic principles. I'm, I'm sad to tell you that there is no longer a loyal opposition in the United States. The Democratic Party and the mainstream media constantly look the other way when clear evidence of election fraud appears if it favors the Democrats. This has become a major problem in my country with mail-in ballots and is likely to seriously undermine the integrity of the 2020 U.S. presidential election. Efforts by China and North Korea and possibly Russia to meddle in South Korea's democracy is intended to undermine freedom in the Asia-Pacific region, weaken an important ally and champion of freedom in that region, and to convert South Korea into a client state. China strongly supports President Moon and his efforts to bring about the time with, with North Korea, his in incredible eagerness to make concessions to North Korea, and the efforts by President Moon to undermine President Trump's maximum pressure strategy against North Korea. There is no question that China is a major threat to South Korea's democracy. From promoting propaganda through the internet related to the election, running intelligence operations, including with South Korean nationals, Beijing is certain to have committed huge resources to meddle in South Korean politics and to interfere in its elections. The rigging of the 2020 election must be viewed in this light. The abnormalities in this election should not be written off as coincidences or minor errors, given the efforts by the Chinese Communist Party to destroy democracies as part of its effort to establish a new China-led world order. The significant number of election issues in the South Korean election strongly suggests a coordinated campaign by a foreign power to influence the election outcome. There should be an extensive investigation 
into these election abnormalities and possible Chinese meddling to assure the South Korean people of the integrity of their elections. Unfortunately, and you, I'm sure no one in the room wants to hear this, I believe it's very likely this will never happen. The South Korean government does not want an investigation and may be sabotaging attempts to open one. The mainstream media in South Korea and experts are dismissing the idea that the election was rigged. Well, we're seeing this in the United States too. The U.S. has, the, the American left has no interest in investigating incidents that appear to undermining democracy if they favor the left. The American left, like the, like the South Korean left, also is dangerously naive about the threat from China and dismiss anyone who, who warns about it as warmongers and conspiracy theorists. This is why your program today is so important. By highlighting the huge number of irregularities in the April 2020 national elections and why they were almost certainly part of a deliberate campaign to rig the vote, you are doing the job that the South Korean government and media should be doing and refuse to do. But most important, you are defending South Korea's democracy. Thank you for inviting me to speak to your program today. Thank you very much.